I'm Bronwyn Tyler and um, I'm classed as a village historian. So the church is um, dedicated to St Martin, which gives us an idea that um, it's possibly there was an old, maybe a wooden church on the site before because St Martin was a very popular Saxon saint. Um, it's, it's, as I say, dedicated to St Martin of Tours and um, it's located in what we think was the original settlement of the village of Thompson which now spreads out quite some distance around us. As far as um, Prince Frederick is concerned we owe a great deal of gratitude to him. Because the village became quite poor people didn't have the money to keep the church in good repair and by um, 1911, the diocese um, had decided that it would be a good idea to close it down, to save some money and amalgamate the congregation with other villages. The reverend at the time, the rector at the time, was the reverend uh, Charles Kent and he, along with Prince Frederick, who's a friend of his, were really keen on the restoration and preservation of ancient buildings and so they got together and asked for a meeting with the bishop and they um, appealed to him to not let the church be closed down because of its um, ancient fabric and its history and Prince Frederick agreed to underwrite the cost if it couldn't be found by um, sub public subscription. So fortunately for us the bishop agreed and they started work. They did raise a lot of the money so Prince Frederick didn't have to pay for all of it but they started work on it and by 1913 um, the church was restored and reopened. Um, so we are extremely proud of, of what Prince Frederick's achieved on our behalf. Um, it's the fabric inside um, is largely untouched. He didn't believe in modernisation as the Victorians had done to an awful lot of our buildings. They preserved what was inside, so Jacobean woodwork um, the ancient windows and the ancient fabric were all retained, which we're very grateful for. Yes, we're really pleased to be part of, of the Dulip Singh Heritage Trail because it recognises um, the achievements of people that a lot of people haven't perhaps heard of in that capacity. They wouldn't assume that, um, you know, uh, uh, an Indian prince would, would be interested in one of our churches. Um, we're fortunate to have had donated a plaque to him last year which we dedicated last year so that we can now recognise him and people visiting the church can understand the background and why it's part of the trail.